What's up, Rockers? Welcome back to the channel. Today I got my poster here at the garage along with the mystery bike. Um, today I wanted to do something that I've been wanting to do for the longest time, which is replacing this mess over here. I want to remove this real lights with the license plate and everything here and I got this Kotlin real lights that um you can see it and I'm still undecided whether I want to remove this seat here for a passenger rider along with this I bought that as a kid from Harley Davidson and I don't know I don't think I'm gonna remove it uh, most likely I'm gonna end up doing a modification and installing the real light somewhere around like this and um, technically um, it's supposed to be mounted without this fender here and this seat and with the original top here and basically the light will should you know come up here I'll show you a picture here in a minute that one right there and um but I want to keep this I like I like this look here everybody got a, their own preference how the bike should look like to me this to me looks more like I want it to look like so I'm gonna keep it this way so that being said I'm gonna roll the intro and get on it hit it All right, so as you can see, I already removed this and the bike looks already so much better without it. And, um, and just to show you, let's see, take this cover here and we basically unplug and disconnect to here. Cut that wire tight and um, this part should be pretty, pretty darn easy. So, let's keep going. So my plan here is to remove all this because I will have to modify the bottom of this so I can put my lights and um, I bought some stuff in Home Depot to make my life a little easier when I do this and um, if you look on the bottom of it I'm gonna see if I can cut through some of this so I can make this real light fit a lot better flush if you will and I know it comes with some nuts and bolts so once I take it off I'll be should be able to figure out a way to mount it back here so that is what we are going to do all right I'm a little bummed out about this already because this is what my plan is I want to modify this where I can cut through I don't know if you can see it or not I want to cut through this right here this plastic and make this thing flush in here I want to be able to use this since I already spent a lot of money with this kit the only thing that 
is holding me back now is I might not have enough wire to round this thing because if you look at here technically this is where it's supposed to be mounted on like this and that gives me plenty of electrical wire to run it through where I need to go to which is somewhere around here I still gotta figure this out but I'm gonna see if I have enough wire because I really wanted to use this because without this when I ride the bike there's a lot of debris that goes on my back then it end up on the seat and everything it, it really end up being a mess so which is one of the reasons why I bought this nothing to have anybody ride with me because I'm not planning to have anybody ride with me on this bike at all so but I'm gonna find out right now if I have enough wire to run this and still be able to use this fender here let's find out all right just to show you what I've done here I am gonna use this existing wire that I have here so you can see it and basically I used to on the back of this stuff right here the original OEM this cable used to be routed inside this right here and this is the wire harness that I'm going to use to be able to complete my setup and also for the license plate which I don't have here just yet but this is the main thing that I'm going to be using all right so just to show you what I've done so far here I have routed my cable from this connected right here on the side by the fuse box um, this plugs in right here goes all the way to this cable here and this is gonna give me power to the real lights and the license plate which is this right here I just mounted this right here um, it's gonna look something like that and I had to cover my license plate just for privacy and uh, let's see this thing has a cable coming out of here because it has a LED lights at night then you'll be able to see your license plate number and whatnot but I love this setup a whole lot better and I'm gonna actually I routed this cable all the way here all the way to the top where it comes up to this right here so I'm gonna be doing all my soldering right here I'm gonna cut these two connectors here and it took me a little while to figure out which wire goes with what for the right and the left side the running lights and all that good stuff so I got all this figured out on a piece of paper took me a while to figure it out but I'm glad I went on I'm glad I went on doing this this way and this right here I got stuff all over the place I basically put some posse on these two knots because I am going to that's how this is gonna look like here like that I just put, screw it down and this is gonna be for my for my rear fender it's gonna go mount it right here just like that so the lights will come in the back side here so I have plenty of wires to do this so so far so good so pretty simple it just took me a little while to figure this out which wire goes with what and um, um it wasn't too really clear at the beginning because 
it was a little pain in the butt to figure it out, but I got to figure it out now. So it's just a matter of cutting it and do some soldering on these wires. All right, so I applied some JB welds on my nuts. I mounted it there. It looks really good. Um, I also put some silicone where my cables come out. With the shrink tubing, I'm going to let it sit there and, and dry for a little while. Um, Home Depot for a couple of dollars. Just regular silicone. It just basically reinforces everything. Make sure I don't want to have any broken wires. And I really don't want to do this again. So, <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, it looks really good so far. I'm just going to let it sit there. Let it dry for a little while. And then I'm going to mount it. And start the soldering on the wires. Once the soldering is done. I'm gonna test the lights, make sure that everything is working like it's supposed to, and test it out on the road pretty soon. See how they look. But so far, they're looking pretty damn good to me. So just uh, gonna let it sit there for a little while. Cool beans. So everything is pretty much wide. It's wired and soldered here according to what I was able to figure out. And I even, if you can see the bottom of it, I put some tie wraps so the cables won't be hanging. So it'll be, yes, yeah, that's, that's a better view. Drill through here and put some tie wraps. I didn't want to see the cables hanging and hit the tire. That'll be a bad day. But it looks pretty good. Um, now all I gotta do is just put some tape in here and test the light. In fact, I'm gonna test the lights right now before I even put any tape or anything in here. But this looks good. 
looks very professional I think <laughs> let's test those lights all right that's the lights the reflection for the um, license plate LED nice Now you got the running lights, nice and bright. Let's check the signal lights for the left and right. All right, that's your left. Working good. Right. That's your right side. Yeah. Now all I gotta do is put some tape in here, finish everything up, and we'll be rolling. But they look nice. Those lights came out really nice. So you know if you get if you remove the back lights type of thing, you have to get the license plate bracket. Um, you're just gonna need it. Unfortunately, they don't sell it as a kit. This was separate, and the lights was separate. Um, I'll leave the link in the description. Kind of expensive, but and this is the wire here where I run it. Yep, everything turns out pretty good. I'm happy with it. Less um. gonna go ahead and finish this up forgot to check the brake lights so we're gonna check the brake lights real quick Make sure it all right so the brake lights they work Alright guys, I think I'm done with this project here. Everything looking good. Put the seat back on. Checking. Checking everything. I love this license plate. I love the LEDs. Looks good. like the video hit the like button I'll leave the um, link to Kotlin on the description leave me any comments if you think I left something out let me know check all that stuff yeah it looks good 
Hope you like the video. Hope you like the lights. This setup looks so much nice. Yeah. Didn't like none of that crap back here. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Remember, if you're not rocking, you're slacking. Peace.